Welcome back to All Things Clarice. On here, I talk about nursing related topics, I travel, and I will be doing some fashion hauls for you guys, so stay tuned. So today, I wanted to talk about nursing, of course. I've been getting a lot of questions on different nursing topics, and people want me to answer these questions. And I was saying to myself, like, how, I mean, all these questions are already being asked, on YouTube but I think the difference is is that people are not given specifics you know and I think that's what people are looking for um, they don't really want to sit and watch a 15 or 20 minute video they kind of just want you to answer their questions hit every point and so that they can go about their business so I decided to incorporate that into my channel where I answer a bunch of nursing related topics and just hit different points for you guys so that you can go about your day. How do you prepare for nursing school? Well, first thing first, nursing school is very competitive and this is how they weed out people. So the main thing they look at is your grade. That's not all they look at. They look at your recreational activities as well, but mostly grades and that is your sciences. So make sure to do good in your anatomy and physiology, um, microbiology, nutrition, those things. Make sure to score all A's and B's in those classes. Of course, you have the entrance exam that you have to prepare for. The one that I used was the T's. And um, in the T's book, they have a lot of questions. I would do like 75 different questions every single day. Mostly I, for, for the math portion, I focus on that because I'm not the best in math. I would do my percentages, ratios, and things like that. And those are the things you would see on, on a nursing entrance exam. So I, try to make myself competitive and that's what you have to do you have to stand out from all the thousands of applications that are going to be applying for the program so that you can get in i made sure my sciences was good and then um even if my t score wasn't as high as it needs to be at least my sciences was great so that they'll know that i can actually do the work in nursing school okay so the next thing i would say um, to do is to declutter your life. This is very important. If you already have a stressful life, nursing school is already stressful enough, so you don't wanna um, add even more stress. They even tell you before you even get into the program not to work. And um, some people work, you have to, because it's not, you have to work, you have to work to take care of your kids and so forth. So some people, they have to work. But um, there are some things you could do so that it's not as stressful. Like for instance, if you have kids, I would get my babysitter in order, um, get someone who can look after your kids if it's your spouse, let them know the, the journey that you're about to embark on. It's not like other schools, you know? You're going to be going for clinicals, so that's gonna take some time out of your day. So you have to study for that. Then you are going to have tests upon tests upon tests. They kill you with a test, but you're gonna have it. You know, it's nursing school. So tell your spouse, listen, this journey I'm about to embark on, babe, you have to step up, you know? I did not have a social life in nursing school. I just didn't because I know myself. I tend to get carried away. <laughs> you put me in the lounge or in the club, I mean, I just wanna probably stay there. So um, I just didn't want to do anything that would hinder my chances of passing nursing school. So I just stayed away from that scene. So those are all those things you have to put into play. And then organization skills. Learn how to be organized. If you are not an organized person, hmm, your chances of passing school, just try to be organized um, because you are going to have so many different tests from clinicals and then from your actual classes that you're going to have. So I will have a calendar where I put all my important dates so that I can be ahead of the game. You always wanna be ahead of the game because you don't know what other thing they're gonna throw at you. It's nursing school. They throw things at you. Be ahead of the game. So organize yourself. If you, you don't know how to organize yourself, 
find somebody that can help you. Look online. There's different things on YouTube that show you how to be organized so that you can be successful in nursing school. So next, it will be your study habits. What are the things you are going to do to make sure you are successful? My study habits for me consisted of studying by myself. <laughs> Because I learned this the hard way. I, I realized I am not somebody that know how to study in a group. Because I found that either I was either teaching or um, me and the group wasn't on the same page. Or even if I did study with one other person, um, I found that I was teaching somebody rather than getting anything out of it. So I just decided to study by myself. But um, if you did decide to study with somebody, because most people in nursing school study with another partner, and that seems to work for them. So make sure to study with somebody that is on your same level. Um, you need to get something out of the study session, and it's just not you teaching somebody. For me, um, I went to Barnes & Noble. Um, I have my own little section in Barnes and Noble that I will go and just, you know, make myself comfortable, spread out all my books, and then I would just go right in. Um, but some people, you know, they'll make a certain area in their house their study um, area, or they will go to the library, you know, just so formulate a study habit, a study time, so that you can just be consistent with all the work that is going to be piled on you. <laughs> And last but not least, effort. What you put into nursing school um, is what you're going to get out of it. And I strongly believe that. I studied my butt off in nursing school. I really did. Nursing school did not come easy for me. As some people would say, oh, nursing school is easy. No, nursing school did not come easy for me. I had to study every step of the way, especially the math. Okay, like I said, I'm not the best in math, but I did it and I was successful because I put the effort into it. I studied, okay, and I was always a step ahead of the game. So what you put into nursing school is what you're going to get out of it. It's just that simple. If you come in there, I can very last today school about every single thing. If you're not organized, not prepared, if you don't listen, um, if you want to do your own thing, if you don't follow directions, if you are not um, studying all the chapters that are given to you, you will find yourself far behind. It's going to take you a long time to catch up. Once you're far behind in nursing, it's really hard to catch up. So. Don't do that. Be ahead of the game. You want to get out. You don't want to stay in that school. Oh my God, when I was in nursing school, I just wanted to get out. I felt like, Lord, when is this going to be over? I felt like it was taking an eternity just to get out of nursing school because every day different things were thrown at you. You didn't know if you were going to pass because, you know, there's a certain, um, passing level with nursing school. Some nursing school you have to get a B and an above. Some nursing school you have to get a 77. And if you don't get that 77, you stay back. And I did not want to stay back. I wanted to get in and get out. What you put in nursing school is what you are going to get out of it. Try your best when you are in the program to do every single thing possible to get out of it. And I'm telling you, you will be successful. I cannot do anything without my Lord and Savior. Um, mainly, I have put him first. I will always find like a meditation time where I would give to God, give God the glory, pray, you know, and just allow him to help me along this journey of nursing school. And he helped me throughout nursing school, just giving me different ideas on how I can pass, um, you know, just making me calm. You know, meditation is good. Um, when you're just focusing on God and, and solely focusing on Him, He can get you through anything. So I strongly believe He was the one that got me out of nursing school and maybe the nurse that I am today. So those are my tips, you guys. That's how I feel that you can prepare for nursing school and really be successful in nursing school. 
So comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and look out for more videos on different topics. Bye-bye.